What's up, y'all? So I just got this call. This lady who passed up the job passed up on me doing it. Um, went with somebody different, unlicensed, and uh, she called me and said it didn't get done right. So I'm here to check it out. I was just getting up the ladder, and I noticed all this garbage in here. Just before I was getting up, there's a lot in the wood chips too. That's already kind of a bad sign. And I want to see what this roof looks like. <laughs> okay, a couple, th couple things wrong here. Water and the gutter, because the gutters were part of it. There's, sorry, let me, uh, let me fix this camera here. Downspout's right there. And there's about an inch of water in this gutter, uh, just, uh, just a couple feet away. Then we have an underdriven nail, drip edge used as gutter apron, not over the gutter, no starter, and seam on seam, right there. Okay, she's correct. I don't even really need to see much more of this roof. It was done incorrect. And uh, that's that. Did that shingle lift up? That shingle lifted up, didn't it? Ugh. Is there no nails in this thing? There's not. That can't be. Oh my god. Hold on. Might be one in that one. I'm gonna get up here and go check out a few more shingles and see if they're all like that. There's no way he didn't not nail these shingles. Oh. oh! You're kidding me. How in the world Did he put this roof on without nails? He's got to be the only person on the entire planet that doesn't think a roof needs nailed. And these two vents are backwards. I've never even used these kind of vents and I can tell that they're backwards. Yeah, it says up right here. <sighs> this one's obvious. You don't cut shingles and use it for ridge cap. You buy ridge cap. There's gotta be something going on with this valley here. Of course there is. Yeah. All right. So, that's the higher slope. More volume comes off that. Meaning this side needed to be run first. Then this side would actually look more like this one does, but it would actually get a cut line in it. This side was ran second. Meaning water rolls right down there and gets right underneath here. See? See that? That's no good. I don't I don't even know what to do. <laughs> I kind of just want to tell her, yeah, you're right, and then measure this thing. I don't even how much more do I need to see already? Let's see, what did they do here? Why are these seams not even? Look at this. They go seam, they're not buttoned, their shingles tight. God, God bless it. Shingles, our shingles not tight here. Same, same, same. You don't do you don't do architectural shingles like that. They didn't overhang on their drip edge side. No starter. They're supposed to have an overhang about minimum half. I mean, you can have like a quarter inch, I guess, but most people do about half inch to three quarter on their on their rake edges. I don't do my pipes like this. Not many people do. Let's see. Yeah, why does these two look oh I mean not okay, but that's more or less once this once this can be shot down and this shingle can or basically once this can get shot down onto a reveal, usually then you start going over with this shingle. This shingle or this one could have been shot down right onto the reveal. And then these ones could have started going over. Instead, he didn't do that. Now he's got these nails here. I mean, look at that. He made it. He made it nice and easy for a squirrel, didn't he? 
Oh man. Yeah, this is uh something else. What? This looks like a lot of water in this one. Look at this, it's pitched completely the wrong way. Look at all that water, can you see it? All right, that's just gonna be an issue. Why not set that somewhere a little different? Call the uh, call the dish guy out. That That's nuts, that's just crazy. This is a fancy looking boot here. Clearly didn't replace it with a new flashing. You can tell by all the old holes in this. This ain't, I mean, come on. I'd pull that right out if I wanted. Wind will. Look at these gray lines showing everywhere. Their stagger was different over here. Let me see if, maybe there's more than one guy. Maybe they did an okay stagger. Oh, well, you can tell they did a lot of Dutch lapping on the side they started it on. Oh, this is, uh, what is that? So weird. Slices all over the shingles. Look how close these are. These are close here. Yeah, somehow they got even closer. I don't know how, but they got closer. <laughs> This is just nuts. Well, I didn't look on the ground yet. Before I go down there, I'm gonna, cause the soffit, soffit fascia and gutters were included in this. I'm gonna go check that out too. But look, you guys, you gotta hire somebody who's bonded and insured. Ask to see work, look at reviews. You gotta do that kind of thing. I mean, everybody's gotta start somewhere, so don't get me wrong. But I mean, at least somebody like, for example, when I started my, my company, I had pictures of all the roofs I was doing working for somebody else. It's still my quality, you know, so I was able to show those off at least. I mean, come on, make sure you, you don't got to dig and do a bunch of research. Not every, not everybody who comes out and says they can do your roof is going to do this kind of job. Really? It's, this is extremely uncommon. I can't believe that this is. You know, I can see my house right now. This happened right down the street. This is my neighbor's house. So, this is just insane to me. But, just do your research a little bit. Make sure you're dealing with somebody. And always sign a contract. Because this this poor lady, uh, they now got to pull out of their 401k and try to get an equity loan to pay me to do this. Even though I offer financing, they know that. Uh, they are getting they get a better deal through one of those, I guess. But, uh, yeah, they got to jump through jump through a bunch of hoops now just to make sure they can get their job done right you know because it wasn't done right the first time so and and I hate to say it but they saved five hundred dollars by going with somebody unlicensed and that's what that's what their decision was you know they wanted to go with somebody they knew from softball meaning not a not a good relationship just someone they know and this is what happened so just uh you know, be careful. Look, okay, these are all Dutch lap. This is this is crazy. Let's go check it out. See what's down here. Let's see, we had to do the saw fit. Wow, look at that. I know we did this run too. That's not okay. It's not supposed to look like that. Wow. Okay. At first glance, this don't look terrible under the soffit, but I'm not sure. You see these center vents here? Not consistent. You see there's one missing here. They're supposed to be right, right next to each other like uh, these. Yeah, those ones. Then he starts doing them every fourth or fifth panel down there. Meaning the roof isn't vented, isn't, the attic space isn't going to get the proper ventilation. Because, you know, before people did center vent, people still do this. They do solid, solid, vented, solid, solid, vented. Or even three solids before a vented, but the full piece is vented. This is just center vent. And it's just randomly placed. 
No bird box there. Let me try to get a better. You can't tell. Somewhat of a bird box here. I think it's the old one. You got this white drip edge on, I don't know, clay colored soffit. Let's see here. I know this was all done yet. Yeah, here we go with the center vent again. Center vent every like fifth, sixth panel. Let's go check out what they did for their H channel. Back to back F, which is not the worst thing in the world unless you make it look like that. That's terrible. Oh, God. Uh, there we go. That's short. All right, I've seen enough. I'm going to get some numbers and work up a new price for this lady. In the meantime, watch how easy this roof comes off. <laughs> 